Welcome to Sport Rosie, and our crazy sports story is Step Into the Whirlwind Saga of Stefan Effenberg, known more infamously as The Tiger, an emblem of Bayern Munich's storied legacy. His roller coaster journey weaves through a landscape of armed hotel rooms, cheeky insults to a legion of German fans, and an unrivaled record of cards in Bundesliga history. An audacious centimid known for his deadly tackles, Effenberg embarked on his wild odyssey with Borussia Mönchengladbach in the late 80s. Before long, he established himself as a titan in midfield, marked for future German captainship. Yet, even at this nascent stage, whispers of a brewing storm called De Tiger were palpable. As prolific with cards as a seasoned poker player, Effenberg's eccentricities weren't confined to the pitch. Remember his impromptu shooting spree on Spanish streetlights from his hotel room? Or the audacious car borrowing incident involving ex Mönchengladbach coach Jupp Henkers? Suffocated by hotel life, Effenberg embarked on an unauthorised joyride with Henkers Jeep, turning a garbage dump into his monster truck arena until the engine called it quits. Oddly, Henkers still retained a soft corner for this uncontrollable spirit. But Munich wasn't just a bed of roses for our midfield maverick. Amidst a particularly disappointing match, his fuse blew, challenging his manager to a fight during a half-time talk, causing pandemonium among his team. While his fiery stint fizzled out with the arrival of superstar Lothar Matthäus, Unwilling to share the limelight and stoking their feud, Effenberg even dubbed the latter a coward over his World Cup 1990 penalty debacle. This led to his exodus to Florentina. Blossoming in Florence, he was called up to the national squad for the 1994 World Cup, yet De Tiger bared his claws when he saluted German fans with a brazen middle finger during a substitution against South Korea. This audacious act, dare stinky finger, cost him four years in the international wilderness. Returning to Bayern after a spell at Mönchengladbach, he was soon embroiled in another scandal. An affair with teammate Thomas Strunz's wife surfaced, complete with risque pictures in his scandalous autobiography. But amid the turmoil, Effenberg was nothing short of majestic on the field, leading Bayern to three Bundesliga titles and a Champions League trophy. His squabble with Matthias was temporarily shelved, or so it seemed. In a cheeky memoir, he devoted a chapter to Lothar, titled What Lothar Matthias Knows About Football, only to leave it glaringly blank. Retirement in 2004 hardly dimmed Effenberg's penchant for controversy, from a contentious Playboy interview to trade union lawsuits and a headline-grabbing arrest for drunk driving after an Oktoberfest binge, he remained firmly in the spotlight. In the end, the saga never fails to astonish, for after all, a tiger doesn't change its stripes, it just gets more audacious. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more crazy sports stories.